Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Nurse Designs. Today I wanted to show you a belly band that I'm making for uh, my girlfriend's uh, journal that I'm going to be giving her for Christmas. And I just think it's really cute. I came up with the idea today and I just wanted to share it with you and show you how um, I made it. For some reason I'm really into these shakers um, adding the sequins and other things. So before we get started, I want to thank everyone for joining in. Um, if you're crafting along with me, um, I will be using my sewing machine on this. I'm going to try to reconfigure the um, camera today, uh, my phone, and I want to show you exactly how I sew this bottom part um, and how, you know, the process of putting the sequins in there. If you don't have a sewing machine, I apologize. I don't know. I'm sure you could, you know, glue. You could glue this all down if you wanted to, or you could slow stitch it. It would take forever to slow stitch. Um, but you might be able to do a whip stitch around the edge. When I say whip stitch, I think of my my granddaughter when she was little um she used to say whip stick for lipstick and for lip balm she'd say whip balm she had a hard time with some of her pronunciations um and then on this here i just added some sequins and um a button and some sequins on the back side this is the page that i'm going to be placing this in this belly band here and then um, this will also be at the top of this page which I think is really cute so I want to get started but I wanted to show you I wanted to show you this first so let me show you the picture the pictures I don't know what I'm saying I want to show you the um, paper that I've um, chosen and I want to talk to you a little bit about um, these here now, this is obviously a punch, and it measures, where's my ruler? I think it's at what, one and a half? Just shot, one and three quarters by one and three quarters. It's a scalloped square punch, and <clears throat> I had gone through my Christmas cards at one point. A lot of cards that I received, um, like maybe... For my, my husband's business, we would receive cards here. And other cards that I just didn't, I felt I didn't need to keep. But I didn't want to throw them away either. So I took my punch and I, I went through, I went through uh, the cards and I just punched out um, images that I thought would be really nice that I could um, create with. These are also great for if you're into making the um, artist trading cards or making um, the, you can also make artist trading cards. They're actually called the um, ink. I think they're the ink box cards. And I did a video on those and these would be perfect to put on there. But don't throw your, and these are great for collaging if you're doing the Marguerite Miller um, December collage work. Uh, I think she has a December collage, daily collage book out. Um, these are perfect images to use in that. So I went through, that's pretty. Um, I went through some of mine here and I pulled some that I wanted to use. I wanted to do a little different style belly band. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to use these. I have a whole bag full and I'll be incorporating these a little bit more. And these would also make lovely tags uh, for your either your, um, your journaling cards, um, but also on I shouldn't say a tab, not a tag. Um, it would make a nice tab. You could put a couple, you could put a couple together like this. You could glue them. Or if you haven't used your, which I think 
looks really nice. I may use a couple in here for Lee's book. Um, you could sew them. You could glue them um, together, stitch them together, but they would make lovely tabs in a in your journal um, or your December daily. So think about that. Don't don't throw your cards away. So I've chosen um, this paper here and some of the, I thought a little bit more gold and green would be pretty on here. I really like this image though too, to put a little splash of red in there. But I like this with the leaf because it is the uh, the nature one. So I think maybe I'll use these. I'll go with all of the the shiny gold tones. And I have to cut this down. And then um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is which image you want on the bottom to put your, your little sequins in. Um, because it will be covered up a little bit. Now, maybe I will put this on the bottom and move this one to the top because it adds a little more a little more brightness and I hope the lighting is okay for everybody today um, it's a very gloomy gloomy day here and um, I feel like it's it's I'm shrouded in darkness and then everything is so bright here so I, I hope it's okay and I know these are quite reflective I had to move a couple of my lights around um, so I hope there's not too much glare. Okay, so we have our background. I have the squares, the sequins. Um, again, I may use, these were my mom's that she had. Now, I could use these. These are fun and very festive. These would be pretty down in here. Or this batch here, um, these are the reds and um, whites. They come in this pretty little jar here. And I have two different um, colors. These I won't use. If I have a page with blue, I can use these. But aren't they pretty? These I got when I do um, some ocean pages in my scrapbooks. They, I don't know if you can see. There's little stars in here. Um, and these come from... Where do these come from? Uh, sequins, Ocean Sparkle Tin. I have no idea. I do not think I ordered these online. I think I bought them maybe at Tuesday morning. I have no idea. Um, but I may, I may choose, I may use these today. Um, get some more of the red and white in there. These might be kind of fun, but we'll see. I'll see what looks best. All right. So, this is very simple. Um, it's a very, very easy um, belly band to make. So, I'm going to cut it down. Now, my pages are um, eight, eight and a half inches tall. So, I am just going to cut this to eight and a half, and then I will just double check on that. which I should actually, whoops, as I throw my scraps around. Um, so let's just say I, I put it on this page just for, yeah, about eight and a half. And I can always trim it down. I always like to cut a little bit larger um, because you can, you can take away, but you can't add on. My goodness, everything is attached to me today. My large spool of tool right here just went on the floor it was attached to this all right so all right so that is that will work i'm just going to take a smidgen more off and it'll be good let's set that aside and let me take just a little bit off all right. And the other thing I'm going to do, I do not want it this wide. I only want it 
two and a quarter inches. Okay, so we're going to take care of that. And we're going to cut this down to two and a quarter. So these will go on here like this. And you just have to decide what order you want them in. And again, because I'm putting doing the sequins on here, um, I'm going to have this on the bottom. And this is shiny paper. I did um, distress these a little bit. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. But... I think it'll be protected fairly well under the tool. And it just adds a little bit here. Okay, so let's get these glued down. I'm just going to keep that there. I want the deer on the top. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I feel like I'm getting a ton done, which is unusual. Once, when my house is clean and tidy, um, then I can really knock things, really knock things down. So when you place your, if you are going to stitch, um, you just have to be mindful of your, the size. I think this is 2.5 zigzag on my machine. Um, I have the Martha Stewart um, sewing machine. I can't tell you. I have a photo over. You'll see my photo of my boys when they were a baby, when they were babies. But this is 2.5, and then I do the straight stitch on top because I didn't have a lot of room here, and I I did the zigzag. It may have gone off. I did the zigzag on the bottom because I, I did have enough room. And you're going to need to do a zigzag or a straight stitch, whatever you prefer, um, down here um, to hold the sequins in at the bottom. So just be mindful of that. And this is a really quick and easy, fun, fun, fun project. I could make these all day long. You know, you get something that you really enjoy doing. And if you make a big fat journal, it's okay to have um, two or three of the same things in there. I'm just, again, being mindful of the um, stitching in between this area. And I may just do, instead of a zigzag, I may just do a single stitch. So we'll, you'll see that when, I, when we get over to the machine. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is take your, take your tool. And I guess I am going to throw the other. I have a really big roll of this. This was my mama's. Um, she left me so many wonderful crafting um, fabrics and just the sequins, everything. She was a huge crafter. Um, all right, so basically you're just going to want to, and you can come over the side, however far you want. And what I like to do, I'm so, I like to use my pinking shears just for some, just a little extra, extra. And I just make sure that I have enough on each side. All right. And it looks like I do. So I'm just going to cut this up, however. All right. 
tool is going over onto the floor. And now we have a nice, I hope you can see this, we have a nice piece right here, okay? Um, so it hangs over each side of, and then you can, you can trim it afterwards. So let me um, step away. I'm going to get the camera set up so you can watch how I sew this, and we will continue. Okay, so what you're going to do, took me a few minutes to get, this um, figured out here with the camera. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, this is the top of your tag, okay? You're going to turn it upside down. You're going to start at the bottom. Um, so this is the bottom where I'm going to be putting in the um, sequins. And what I, what I did on the other one is I started on the right side of it so now we have it back right side up okay because here's your whoops hold on a minute here okay um here's your deer so because i want a continuous stitch um i want to have my stitch come starting here coming down across up i'm going to go all the way up across back down all right you'll 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 see the method to my madness um, so I'm going to start here and it's going to be a two-part step so and when I stitch this I have my paper lined right up against the inside of the foot here and we're going to get it over. It's already set at the zigzag 2.5. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to fold. See, I don't have this all the way flat down. I take it and I fold it up a little bit here just to give it a little something, something. Just to make it party. Okay. when I get down here you're going to get it try to get it down as close as you can to the edge here but do not go off if you have to do a single stitch here then do a single stitch if you feel that you don't have enough room I think I'm going to have enough room here with a um with the the small zigzag And just go slow. You don't have to be a speed demon. All right. And then you're just going to turn it up this way. And again, I want to just make sure I have enough room. And then you're going to stop. This is where you're going to stop. You're going to take it out. Let me get my little... And this is where we're going to stuff it. All right, so I'm just going to push this back. And then this is where um, we're going to add the sequins. Before I add the sequins, though, I want to show you what I do. I don't leave, like to leave my threads. You'll notice on this one, um, I have no threads um, hanging off of here. So this is a trick that I've showed before. And you're just going, what I do is I take, see how, see how this kind of pulls right here? Get that loop and I pull this through. And I do the same thing on this side. I just take this thread, I pull it, and then I grab this loop. And that just brings it through um, from the other side. See, so there's no thread hanging. And what I do is I just... I just tie it off. I just tie it off. Do a couple, few knots here. Okay. And then I snip that. 
I do the same thing to this side over here. Because in my craft world, um, it's always the details. And my mother taught me way back when, if you're not going to do it properly, don't even do it. So Julia is with me constantly when I'm at my sewing machine. So now we have this flap here, okay? And we have our pocket. So this is where we have the pocket here. So this is where we're going to add the sequins, all right? And I'm still considering adding these here. Um, and I just take my little scooper. You can have, if you have a little spoon or something, and I take my little scooper. Hopefully I can do this without at this angle without them getting all over. And I just tuck them right down in there. All right. And you can decide how many you want. If you want to add buttons in here. Um, and I think maybe, I do like that, but I think I might add a few of these just to give it a little another little sparkle. So I think I'm going to add a few of these as well. Just a, just a, a little bit. And we're going to get that right down inside of there. And I don't want to add too many because I do want to um, you know, see the holly berry, but I think that's cute. Just gives it a little, little something something. Okay, so now to finish this off with sewing, let's pull this back here, get it back in focus for you. Okay, so what I do is I just start right where I left off. All right, so you're just going to start right at this edge here. Okay, and you don't have to pull your tool um, tight. It is nice to leave a little bit of um, leeway, have it pucker a little bit. It just gives it that little, little extra interest, okay? So we're just going to start this here. Remember to put your foot down. And if you feel that you aren't um, over enough, just lift your foot up and bring it over a little bit. All right, and then we're just going to continue. Make sure your sequins are still tucked down inside there. And now when I'm stitching this, because I don't have much room, I'm right here on, there's a little hash mark right here that I'm following. Um, down. And by following that, I'm not going off of the paper. It's such a dark day here. Okay, so now I'm meeting up with the right side here. 
and I'm going to turn this and I'm going to do a single stitch across here. I'm not going to bother with a zigzag. And out it comes. Put this back. And then I'm going to, so now we have our sewn piece. So I'm going to move my camera back and we will finish this. All right, so I'm going to show you once again how, isn't that pretty? I'm going to show you once again how to pull your threads through. Um, so this side, obviously, you do not have a thread because you stopped your stitching here and you went across. So <clears throat> this is the only side here. And remember, you take your two threads from the back, all right, and you just... Pull it ever so slightly, and you're going to see, hopefully you can see, there's just a little loop here. You just pull that through. The same here. You just pull this a little bit, and you find that loop, and it's right here. Make sure you get the right one, because you don't want to um, actually pull a stitch out on the other side. So there, so now that's where that stops. So we have no um, threads on the other side hanging. You can leave them hanging if you want to, but I, these here, I just like to finish them off. And then with these, I just take the two and I just tie them together. All right, so, and I do like to leave a little bit, you'll see this little bit of tool. It's just kind of has a funky top to it. This, I'm going to take this little bit of red off. There, um, and I kind of did the same thing. You could see when I was sewing over there, I just made it at a little angle. Now, I don't think I'm going to do any sequins at the top of this one like I did this one here. I think I'd like to try to do something else. And again, by doubling this up at the bottom, it just makes, if you can see that, it just makes a fun little, um, like a ribbon or whatever, going across. And I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. And I just kind of do these at an angle. Um, I kind of cut and tear, rip and tear, cut and tear. See how it's, if I can, on my shirt, see how it's just more of a zigzaggy type thing. Um, and I just kind of like that because it's no, it's not uniformed. So <clears throat> let's see, let's just say hypothetically, I put it on this page. So you are going to want to put these, um, I recommend putting them on a darker page so you can see the tool. I think that's pretty. That's really pretty on that page there. You can move it over a little bit. You can actually put it, um, even though it's a belly band, don't be afraid to, um, you know, if all of a sudden you decide you want to put it on the very edge because you want some of the tool to hang over, then you can just have a nice little um, pocket on this side. It doesn't have to necessarily be a belly band. Uh, but I am making this a belly band. So just try to put it on a, a darker edge, and then you can kind of see. So um, I think I have time to finish the top, and I really don't know what I want to do on the top. Maybe a saying. Um, I haven't really gotten that far. I could do a button. I could just do one button on the top if I had a pretty red button or something. These are all pink. No red buttons in here. I do have a white button over here. Let's see if we just want to maybe want to do a button. 
I have to constantly wet my fingers just to keep the um, sequins off. Oh, I could do a button and then maybe a red bow. Um, let's see what I have for red. This would be pretty if I could maneuver that through there because that would play off of that ribbon. Let's see if I could maneuver this through here. And I think maybe I might be able to. I can twist it. And get it through. Let's see here. Um, let me see. I'm bound and determined to get this through. Oh, there we go. All right. And then let's do this side. Let's see if I can just get it through with this little. There we go. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to, I could punch a little hole right there, and then I could attach it um, like that. Let's see. Um, I could also have it like that and have it come down to the side. I could also do that because all I'd have to do is put a um, a big old glue dot on there. I wouldn't even have to really glue it on. I could put a glue dot and then I could just have a little something there. Uh, let's see. I'd still like to put a bow, some sort of bow, or a little ribbon. I'm just looking through my little pile of miscellaneous ribbons and bows. Um, I don't really want anything to take a take anything away from this either. Let's see if I could make a little bow here. It is short. It is a short ribbon. I'm not answering that. It's one of those scam calls all day long. And I just don't need that. I didn't realize I had the phone in here. So let's just see what that... That looks like. I just want to get this... I want to get this turned. Make it a little more. Oh. There we go. Yeah, we want to shorten this up a little bit. I don't need such a large loop. These at a little angle. There. 
Okay, I think that's, I think that would be cute. I think that would be cute, right? Just like that. And then maybe I'll even put a little glue dot to hold that down. So I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to get my larger glue dot. And I had many glue dots the other day. It took me a while to find them when I was um, doing another project with with everybody here that's why i should keep them in the box okay here's the mini ones all right so i have a couple different types of glue dots i have a um this is a little bit heavier thicker one i may use this on there but let's get the little ones on here first okay so we're going to Put one here. See, so we're just going to tack, tack that down like that. And we're going to get another one over here. We're going to put that one right there. And this will also help keep it. Um, actually, we're going to move this one. Just, I can catch the side there like that. There. So there's that. And then we are going to put, I think I'm going to put the larger. I have a, see how this is a little bit larger one? And I think this will be perfect to grab the ribbon and the um, button. And I'm just going to move this a little bit. And then we're going to take this. We're going to put it right there. Press that down like that. Okay. And that is not going anywhere. And then I'm going to cut that one. And we're going to cut this one the other way. Because I want this. Yeah, no, that's right this way. This way here. There. Because I want these two points going across from each other. There. So there you have it. So let's get these in the book. And um, we will. Oh my goodness. Ah, robo calls. I am so sorry. Okay, so this one we are going to put on this page here. Isn't that sweet? I really hope you try this. They're just so very cute. Let's get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. So we are going to glue. We're going to glue this down on here. After I unclog my needle and I do put quite a bit of glue on the edges for the belly band because you don't have to your um come on Barbie your tag doesn't have to be you know, eight and a half inches tall. There, just make sure that it's even there. Okay, so there's one. Isn't that pretty? And then I think I'm going to go back over and I'm going to add this one right over here i think that's really pretty a really pretty combo so i want to thank everybody for joining in today um i'm going to continue to work on this journal 
um, and then if I come up with something really fun like this and unique, I will do a video on it. Otherwise, I will just show you the the flip through when it's all done. But I had to share um, this technique with everybody because I think it's just darling. And I wanted to show you what you can do with old Christmas cards, um, with the images, how you can use them. They don't go to waste. Um, and how you can incorporate your tool with, it just softens everything as well. It doesn't make it so, even though you want it shiny and bright, um, if you want to mute it a little bit, the tool is just a fantastic way to do that. So here we have our, our beautiful belly band that we will put a nice um, tag in there. And then we have the one over here. Where'd she go? This one here. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Um, so thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining in. I really enjoyed this project. I hope you did. I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. Um, hear your comments if you try this. Um, you can always direct message me on Instagram under Nellie and Ruth Designs and show me um, what you've created. And um, yeah, I'm just very, I'm very pleased with this and I hope you are too. So subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this. And yeah, there's more to come, everybody. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you down the road. Alrighty, bye-bye.